Hello guys, Emmanuel from Geekception here and today I'm going to be doing the 5 day review of the Asus Zenfone 2 Laser. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now for people who are new to this channel or people who do not know, my 5 day review is a review of me where I shoot every single day for 5 days of what I've observed using the phone. But this video might be a bit long, so I'm going to leave a jump list right about here for people who want to jump to the appropriate days without having to watch the full video. And today's the first day that I've been using the Asus Zenfone 2 Laser, and I actually like the build quality, you know, I love like the curved back, the way it actually fits into the hand. I also like the matte coating on the back of the device, it makes it very grippy and very nice to the touch. As we're still looking at the build quality, uh, going onto the screen, I actually like the fact that Asus has gone with a one glass solution here so display the display actually looks really good very crisp very sharp and at all angles it still manages to retain its quality an inclusion of double tap to wake and uh, subsequently double tap to sleep is very welcome here I actually like it but something I'm not liking is the fact that there's so much bloatware on this phone that I've uninstalled many and those I could not actually uninstall I actually disabled it and it's kind of jarring to know how many pre-installed up Asus actually put on the phone. And rounding up today with battery life, I got about 3.2 hours of screen on time with about 39% left at 11.40 p.m. I think, which is also a very, very really good battery life because when I used the original Asus Zenfone 2, the battery life was horrible. And today is the second day that I've been using the Asus Zenfone 2 laser and I've been reading quite a lot of um, text with the phone and it's really, really sharp, really crisp and I think that is to thank because of the one glass solution. Performance on the Asus Zenfone 2 was also surprisingly good, especially for the Snapdragon 410 processor that is inside. And as I've always said, Zen UI, the custom skin uh, implemented by Asus, is actually one of the best I've actually used in a while. Switching between apps, there was rarely any time there was lag, which is very, very surprising again, because of the fact that this is a, actually a Snapdragon 410 processor. But there were times when, when I switched to some certain apps, it actually had to reload again from memory so I think it's not all good but on a general average for the kind of processor that is in the Zenfone 2 laser I would say the performance is pretty good. Something I like about Zen UI is the fact that it actually supports custom icon packs so you can actually go on over to the Play Store and download custom icon packs which you can apply which is actually system wide but something I'm starting to not like not that it's new I don't think it's new but something I do not like about the Zenfone 2 laser is the fact that there's actually no capacitive light button so um, there's a bar there below there to actually differentiate okay this is where the button is but there's actually no light to light it up especially if you're in a dark place at about 11:59 p.m i got about 1.4 hours of screen on time with 60 percent left on the battery charge which i would say is pretty good like i said yesterday this is way better than this original Zenfone 2 I tested. And today is the third day that I've been using the Asus Zenfone 2 laser and I've been consuming a lot of media on the 5.5 inch 720p display and it actually looks pretty good. Um, not the best that, uh, I've used I would say, but for that price point and for the features you get with the phone, I would say the display is pretty good for consuming media. And I've also been playing uh, audio both through the speakers and through the earphone port. Now I actually uh, carried out a test on the speakers and I'm going to be playing it for you guys right about now. And coming from that test, the Asus Zenfone 2 laser speakers are actually not that loud and like all other phones that have speakers on the back, it's susceptible to you covering it with your hands. So for speakers, I would say it's pretty bad. But using the earphone port, the audio quality from that is actually pretty good. Uh, it powers my uh, me in-ear earphones really well and I had no problems with volume whatsoever. And rounding up today with battery life, 
I got about 3 hours of screen on time with 50% left on the Asus Zenfone 2 laser which is stellar I would tell you guys. Uh, I'm still really really amazed at how good the battery life is on the Asus Zenfone 2 laser. And today's the fourth day that I've been using the Asus Zenfone 2 laser and I've been playing a few games and I ran a few benchmarks. Let's see them. And the first game I'll be playing is Asphalt 8 and as you guys can see right here uh, the settings is on medium so let's jump into the game now. Um, And after gaming, uh, let me do some temperature tests. So there's 35 degrees there. At the back here is actually where it uh, felt hot the most. It's 35.5 degrees there. Uh, down below here is 36 degrees. And there is also 35 degrees. So I would say when it comes to temperature, there's 37 degrees. It actually gets very warm around the top here, uh, near the speaker, near the front uh, speaker there. That's where it gets hot. So I would say for temperature, it's, it's still pretty okay, I would say. And running the M2 benchmark, um, while running the test, I actually noticed there were a few lags here and there. And um, coming into the score, it got a score of 23,387. So this is a budget smartphone and the benchmark confirms it. I also run the Geekbench 3 uh, benchmarking tool and for single core score, I got a score of 470. Uh, for multi-core score, I got a score of 1,416. And coming back from those benchmarks, um, I don't know if you can actually notice, but I had no problems running Asphalt 8 and Beach Boggy Racing. But when I played uh, more graphic intensive games like Nova 3, I did see quite a considerable amount of lag. But that I guess can be understood because of the price point of this device and the fact that the processor in this uh, phone is actually not that powerful. At about 11.44pm today, I had about 4 hours of screen on time with 42% left on the battery. Which is really really good I would say, you know, 4 hours of screen on time with 42% is a higher percentile in the Android range. And today is the 5th and final day that I've been using the Asus Zenfone 2 laser and I've been taking photos and videos from the first day of this review and something I have to tell you guys is the fact that well the laser in the uh, Asus Zenfone 2 is actually very accurate because the laser autofocus of this phone is really fast. And I've also carried out several tests with the camera, both videos and photos, let's see them now front camera test of the Asus Zenfone 2 laser now I'm outside it's not so bright outside and so they, this is basically the kind of quality you actually get with the front camera of the Asus Zenfone 2 laser and this is the back camera test of the Asus Zenfone 2 laser now I'm going to go uh, over to those flowers there to see how the laser autofocus works and if I can okay I just use a tap to focus there and as you guys can see I actually like the way it focuses really really fast there and that is basically um, the uh, quality of the back camera of the Acer Zen from two days. So let me try to focus on this text here. Boom, and as you guys can see, it's very, very clear, very nice detail. I like it. Let me try to point into the sky. Here in uh, Kuala Lumpur, there's a lot of haze, that's why it's, uh, the sky is like that. But that's basically it for the back camera test of the Acer Zen from two laser. <laughs> look at the camera samples that come out of the Asus Zenfone 2 laser, I'll tell you pictures are actually pretty good for this price point. Maybe not the best um, there is, I would say not Note 5 uh, good, 
but the pictures are actually very good on an average scale especially for the price point that this phone is being priced at and using it as a phone i would say the call quality was stellar no drop calls and there was no time that i wished that it could be better i would say and about 7 30 pm today i got about 2.5 hours of screen on time with 73 percent left which is an awesome battery life as has been the team in this review and coming to my conclusions about the asus zenfone 2 laser uh, i'll start with my pros uh, i like the build quality of the phone it feels really solid i also like the laser autofocus it's blazingly fast and the battery life is one of the best i've ever tested so far and for the cheap price of 748 ringgit here in malaysia or 189 us dollars i would say it's really really priced competitively good also but it's not all good though for performance because it's using the snapdragon 410 the performance kind of lags uh, here and there you can notice it when it crawls it crawls to a halt and wait well that's it actually that's all i really have against the phone there's not really that much things i actually hate about the asus zenfone 2 laser so hope you guys if you're still watching this review till now hope you've enjoyed watching the asus zenfone 2 laser 5d review uh, if you did give this video a big fat thumbs up it actually helps me a thumbs down if there's some reason why you don't like anything in this video and don't forget to leave your comments as to what you thought about how this video went Anyways, if you guys want to support me, you can actually support me by uh, going to my Patreon page now and supporting me creating these videos. Or you can also follow me on Snapchat to actually see behind the scenes of how I make these videos. Anyways guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to be awesome. I shall catch you guys in the next video. Bye.